Um, today, we are looking at the Famicom Mini. Now, I've actually, well, Tom here has actually kindly modelled it for me and put all the games from my childhood that weren't on it originally because, let's be fair, there are some games on this that need to be on there. But they obviously, like, a lot of the games from my childhood were probably not that great. So there's a mixture of good and bad on there. What do you think of the, the list I had on there? Is it all right? Yeah, I really liked your NES uh, list, and one of the things that was quite cool was I was able to add all your Game Boy games. Oh yeah, we got Game well. Boy games on there too. Yeah, and That's like, cool. uh, I mean, this controller is absolutely tiny. Yeah, man, we're uh, gonna have to get proper close to the screen. They've got tiny controllers on it. So my like, God, yeah, uh, awesome. Can you even play on that? I mean, I can, but. But then I, I find it's better to do it, hold it that way. Have you just got Are a microphone? This has got a microphone on it. It says here, if you look closely, there's a microphone on it, but I don't think we can use the microphone on this. That, that just seems, that little bit of plastic there is just not a slider. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't think we can use that as a, as a microphone. But, because I, I was quite, I was hoping we could scare off the Poles voice on Zelda. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Poles voice, that's what they're called. But no, I don't think we can do that. We can give it a go. Maybe, maybe it'll work, I don't know. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they haven't built in the functionality in some way, but. So as before, like all these games here are all the Famicom games. And then I suppose you've got a folder for my stuff. I do another boulder. Another boulder. With your stuff. There's some quite um, out there stuff in the original games. I mean, yeah. I've got no idea what that is. I mean, I, 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 the thing is, I got the Famicom. I got this Famicom in New York, and oh, wow. uh, I did a vlog of basically playing it. If you want to see the vlog of it, it's a, I can't remember what the name of the vlog is, but I basically play this game for the play these games the first time. Rockman Two, yeah, love it. And. Um, I did an unboxing of this underneath the Ghostbusters building. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. So let's see, what, what have you added oh. on here then? Oh yeah, yeah, Alien so, 3 on the Game Boy. That, that is terrible, man. Man, uh, you uh, were seriously attached to Alien 3 yeah. as a game though. You've got it for Mega Drive, SNES and Game Boy now. I, I loved it as a, I loved Aliens as a kid and to get a game of it was just awesome, you know. Fair enough. DuckTales, yeah. that's just iconic. Solid, DuckTales 2, DuckTales another good 2. one. DuckTales 2, that's expensive rare, as well. yeah. They've made um, a ROM hack for it. I really wanted to put it on there that does two players as well. Oh right, okay. So maybe sometime we'll play that on stream. Okay. What was this one? Fax, Faxanadu, Faxanadu, Faxanadu. Yeah, yeah we we'll call it that. Great. Um, it's like some sort of uh, role-playing game, it's, it's alright. I think I did this by mistake. You I wanted NES Godzilla, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we wanted the Famicom Godzilla, like, but that's alright. I mean, Godzilla's yeah. Godzilla. This could be a new memory for us, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's new right. James Bond Jr., that game is a is a weird one, but I, I've got I've got you know fond memories of playing it. But it's I always I I found it pretty impossible. Now, but this, this game here, uh, Kabuki Quantum Fire, I, one of my favourite NES games actually. Really? Wow. Yeah, I, I really like it. It's bizarre. Can you believe I've never played it? You've never played it. So quite well, intrigued. I'll show you, I'll show you the attack move in it. It's quite funny. I'll show it to you. Cool. It, you, you might laugh. Uh, Killer Instinct, that's not the best version of Killer Instinct, but it's the first version of Killer Instinct hey, I had. It's memories. I get that with uh, Sega Master System versions of Mega Drive games. Yeah. They're always downported, worse versions. Yeah, but you can't. There's something about the sounds, the beeps, the blops. It takes yeah. you back to a good place. It takes you back to a good place. I, that, I got that game from Japan. Wow. And uh, unfortunately, the most stupid thing I ever did was sold my Famicom. I don't know why I did it, but I lost that game in doing it. So now I've got it back. I like that game. The, yeah. the Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed it's, it recently. It was very early, wasn't it? It was one of the very early Famicom yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, it was an early one. Uh, Zelda, Link's Awakening, we got it in colour. That's going to be yeah, good. Yeah, I kind of just went on a limb. I thought, I know you asked for the black and white one, but I was like, if there is a colour version available that's enhanced, why yeah. would you not want it? Why would I not want it? So that's cool. So I could be wrong, but hey, that's what I've gone for. Yeah. Monster in my pocket. Yeah, that's a good one. Like um, Konami Beauty. He plays like Dracula and, a, and Frankenstein. No, no, sorry, the monster, not Frankenstein. Cool. Common, common mistake saying that. Uh, Robocop, that game, that game isn't great. In fact, that game kind of sucks in a way. <laughs> but I mean, like, uh, you know, I, I play Back in the day, memories. Playing, playing, that's it. Shadowgate. Um, a lot of people didn't like. I think that that game. Tell, like, tell me about it. Is it an RPG? What kind of game? Kind is it? of. It's, it's kind of like a, a point and click game, okay. but it got eighteen percent in a magazine back oh, wow. in the day. And then I went ahead, went ahead and bought it at a car boot sale. No, I yeah. know. I went to Chichester to get that game. Oh, Chiami, Chiami, yeah. yeah. called by the locals. I, I went to a, this this video store in Chichester. And picked it up, but it was only it was it was it was car only, so I had no idea what it was. But I was judging it by its cover, and uh, the cover is win. To be fair, yeah, the cover's awesome. probably better than the game. But yeah, uh, I, I I love that. It's Solo Jetman as well by Rare. That was a oh good yeah. one. Cool. That was a good one. Um, Star Wars. Star Wars and Game Boy. I mean, I I had that as as a kid. It was cool. Nice. 
This is a great one. Yeah, Mario Land. I mean, that's the first that's the first Game Boy game yeah. I ever had. I mean, it's a bit primitive, but I think it holds up well. And then this one is just outstanding. Yeah. Super Mario Land Two. I think such the, a good choice that one. The best of the bunch, to be fair. That was that was a good one. Yeah. And then I, you know, although Wario Land was pretty good. Wario Land was good. I, I definitely preferred uh, Super Mario Land, though, man. And fair. then Tetris, I just had to get it, man. Yeah. Tetris. So much fun. And then, and then finally, Man. Top Gun, um, which is, you know. Not, not a great game, but there was just something about it that just kept me coming back in the day. So, I mean, like, that's all right. my games. I've got to say, I am desperate to play some of these games. Just what, seeing this what, list, what, like, what one, it all looks good. What I, so, I, for enjoyment, I would jump into DuckTales, but I feel like it needs to be something weird. Okay, so, you want weird? Godzilla? You We've never played Godzilla, ever. Uh, to be fair, if you're a weird man, try that, but we go for Godzilla because we both haven't seen it before. Okay, take, okay. It, take it away. Let's take do it. Take it away, Tom. So here we are, we're jumping in for the first time ever to a Game Boy game on the Famicom, for one. That's pretty oh, weird. No, that's wow, that's photorealistic graphics there, folks. Wow, it looks just like a real Godzilla. I'm so pixelated. Whoa, look uh, at that. Oh. Whoa. Is it like Godzilla? <laughs> are they on my side, what? are they enemies? Okay, I think, I think I've got that. Wow, this is not what I expected. <laughs> It's actually a pleasant surprise. It's, it's better than I expected, but it's really? not Godzilla on any level. There you are. Is that you? I'm like, so that's me. What? Yeah, that's Godzilla. <laughs> I didn't me. expect. Oh, my that. word. I'm glad I put this on here because this is far more random than I ever could have imagined. So I wonder how I get up there. You used I, the, you used it's the a rocks? puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. No way. Imagine going. Oh yeah, I love Godzilla. I'm going to get a Godzilla. Yeah, and then you get and a getting this. Game. You're like, what the hell? So is that Rodan? You know the Godzilla monsters? Yeah, I do, yeah. Rode it. Well, I could play on and try and work it out. But Maybe I just have to kill a certain number of enemies. He's got a big fist! He's actually... Godzilla's yeah, just got a giant that. fist. I'm gonna... Where's pause? There's pause. I'm gonna try and pause it on the big fist. Yeah, look at that! Look at that fist! It's just coming out of his face. Yeah, it's like his whole mouth turns into a giant fist. Well... For me, that's changed the Godzilla franchise. So, I, I, if I'm honest, man, I'm not not too much of a fan of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not a Godzilla game. They've definitely I, uh, made a game and then put Godzilla on the top of it. Okay, well, if you want a weird game, um, if you want a weird <laughs> is game, it going to be weirder than that though? Okay, Quantum. Probably, Fighter. probably not actually. But try try that one. It is it's it's weird. Really. But I I, I love it. I loved this game back in the day. Oh, how they're a really good developer. They made uh, all of the Kirby games. Oh, did they? And they made um, the good Ghostbusters game on NES. Not Ghostbusters 1, but Ghostbusters 2. I'm going to turn this light really off because we're getting glare on the TV. Yeah, how we're good. Oh, no, it's that one causing the problem. Sorry about this, folks. We turn that one back on. Is that. Oh, no, it's still. How's that looking? That's all right. Feels a bit more homely now. So, yeah, look, look, look. Oh, I've seen this. You've before. seen it? Okay. But yeah, you, you fight look, with your hair. You fight with your hair. I mean, that's what I'm going for. I'm growing my hair at the moment. Uh, it started off with COVID and the hairdressers going, but I could kind of... You kind of can do it. Yeah, I was headbutt the TV. TV. <laughs> that's all right, it's my TV. I just, boom, headbutt it. You can tell, I can tell there's actually a good game underneath the kind of weirdness here. Yeah, but it's a very, it's a very game. It, I mean... It looks like it might be a challenging one. Yeah. Did you ever finish this? I, I did, man. Like, well, I didn't finish it, but I got right to the, I literally got like probably two hits away from the last boss. No way. Yeah, man. It was, it was an intense, intense night that night where I tried to defeat this, but I didn't, I needed dynamite to defeat the last boss. I didn't have any. Right. And it's near enough impossible without dynamite to defeat the boss. And that's the thing sometimes with these old games is they don't have passwords. No. And so think, your only option is to play it right from the beginning. I don't know if this game does have passwords. No, it doesn't have passwords. Yeah. You have to get right back to the beginning, and it's like I remember, I remember those those times where like you'll get be right at the end, and then you sort of like you die, and then it's right back to the beginning of the game. And you're talking like about forty five minutes yeah. of play to try and get back to where you That's were. That's right, and it'd and be like the, nowadays as an adult, I like, just don't have the time no. to do it. I, I wish I did, <laughs> you know, like I miss those but glory days. That, that's that's what made us the men we are yeah. today, Tom, is uh, patience. That's it. Man, good game. I'm going to have to give that a go sometime. Yeah, give it a go. Did you want to take one away? I'll, I'll Anything one. you want to play? Yeah, I'll, cool. I'll give it a go. Well, I'll take over on the camera. Okay, so, look at these little tiny controllers, dude. They're mental, aren't they? Well, these, these, this is really weird after being on the Super Nintendo. So, Monster in My Pocket, Robocop. Shadow Gate. Shadow Gate is very slow. I wouldn't mind trying a, a super uh, a, a, a Game Boy game though. Yeah, do it, Will bro. It, let's, let's try this one. This game is brilliant. Dude. It's the irony when your mini 
Famicom ends up being your mini Game Boy. Oh. I played oh, through this recently. Wow. This is a good game. This one's held up really well. It looks great on the uh, the TV. It does, doesn't it? There's like a sharpness to these. Like some games look better on CRT, but I these know, controllers these controllers work surprisingly well. Yeah, they're very functional. Even though they're uh, when you first hold them, you're like, oh, there's no way I can ever play a game on that. But yeah, no, it they're not bad. It kind of reminds great. it kind of reminds me of um, uh, the Game Boy Micro. Yeah, and, I can see and that. how kind of like. You know, it's sort of like, it's tiny, but it works, you know? It's definitely the weirdest of the minis, I think. Yeah, yeah. Apart from maybe... Oh, oh he died! They brought out, like, a, a Neo Geo mini, and it's a mini arcade machine. Is it any good, uh, the Neo Geo mini? Joystick. It's not so good, but... Is it not? They brought out one recently, the Astro City mini, which is another mini arcade machine from Sega. So, That's gonna, meant to be good. I'm going to try Mario Land directly after that one. I'm yeah, trying. It'd be such a. I feel like those games are like generational leaps. Yeah. Compared to one another. I mean, look at it. Yeah, I mean, you can't even scroll backwards. And, no, uh, you can't. Yeah. I feel like Mario Land 2 feels like a mini Super Mario World. Yeah. It yeah. feels like something on the yeah, Atari. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's what they should make. They should make an Atari mini. Yeah, they could do. Yeah. I, just, I just don't think there's a demand for like uh, Atari stuff as much as there is sort of Nintendo and Sega. No, it's true. But, you know, that's the way it is. I feel like they need to remake the uh, PlayStation Mini as well. I just don't think that... I, I, I think they would make just, a decent version. I, I just... I think that's up up to the hackers, to be fair, or... Yeah. Whatever. But, I mean, I, I... I just... I just generally think they're in it for the money. They're just in it to make a quick buck. That's it. There's all the hype of the Mini stuff, and they probably saw Nintendo made an absolute killing with all the scalpers and stuff like that, just buying them all up to resell online. Mm. If alright, it's just, just a win-win scenario. And they, it worked, man. They made a shitload of money out of them. I'm sure they did. Yeah. So I feel like Sega actually put a bit of heart and soul into their Mini. They did, man. The, well, like they got it right. That, but at the start, it wasn't that way, was it? It was like at games or something. That's like. right. Yeah, they made a whole load of rubbish And, they, and then everyone was like, games. we're not buying it. There's no point. Right, yeah. Here. Watch this. I'll get the free. Ready? Ready? If you don't get the free, then our friendship's oh, over. Oh, no! Oh, sorry, man. We're not friends I forgot anymore. about the ladder. No, that's it. I'm going home now. Oh, See you later. See you later, mate. I think that's fair enough. I mean, it's worth losing a friendship over that. Tetris. I'm just playing Game Boy games. DuckTales. So good. You didn't add loads of NES games. I didn't add loads of NES games. No, I was quite surprised. I thought you'd add more. Solar Jetman, you ever played this before? I don't feel like I have, no. Oh. And that's why I like hanging out and playing these games with you, because you pick Look. stuff that I never would have thought about. Oh, so it's another Rare it's one. made by Rare. I actually think Rare were pretty hit and miss back in the day. They weren't like... um. Konami or Capcom. No, they weren't. Like, some of their games are great, and some of them were like, uh, they're almost like LJN level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this was good fun. It was rock hard, though, man. It so was legit, man. It was very difficult. But I think I think you might like this. So you land on a planet that looks a little bit like England. They were definitely one of the only real British developers back in the day, too. Yeah. Uh, who got mainstream and actually did well with their games, so respect for that, definitely. So look at this, look at the animation. Oh, that's really cool. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to zoom in a bit on the ship, because... I don't think it's really pick up the lights, but it's very, very cool. Oh! I like that, bro. That looks really, really good. It's a good game. It's it's, it's just very hard. Yeah. So you, you pick, you got, what you got to do is pick up things, like this, and then return them to the ship. But the thing is, though, the, 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 the weight of it drags you all, all over the place and you can crash into the rocks. Mm. And once you crash into the rocks and, uh, enough times, you lose your ship and then you can't pick up anything. You're just, you're just a little solar jet man flying around. I'll show you, <laughs> I'll show you. Your probes are now equipped with shields. Press down to activate, okay. Boom. There we go. We don't want that, we don't... See, so, you know, we, we, we block our ship. I wonder if like the original developers ever imagined people be playing this game 30 odd years on. I, I absolutely doubt it. I remember my mum saying to me, we went we went to a swimming pool, right? And like, uh, she was like, oh yeah, I was, like, I was saying to her, I want to go home and play Nintendo. I don't oh, want to go- jet man. I don't want to go swimming. Yeah, there's a jet man. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go swimming. And I was like, I want to go home and play Nintendo. And she's like, one day that Nintendo will be an old boot. <laughs> That's what she said. Little Chino, I'm 37 now and still playing <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, One hit and you're dead. Good game. Thing. It's a good game. It's a good game. Do you want to try yeah. something? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I'm going to go for... 
Well, let's see. I want to go for something that's not too generic. I'm just going to do one stage of DuckTales. It's just such a good one, isn't it? Yeah. I was actually oh, a late music. comer to the DuckTales party. Really? Uh, yeah, well, I never had NES when I was younger. When did you when did you play DuckTales? Oh, probably about 10 years ago. 10 so years ago? I played ago? it as an adult, yeah. Oh, right. And I was like, oh, this game's actually really good. I mean, I feel like uh, I didn't miss out on Disney games as a kid because there were loads of really good ones that I grew up with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like I missed out by not playing this one, definitely. This is definitely a good game. So, I, for I, those, if anyone out there, and I doubt there is anyone has never played DuckTales. It all revolves around the pogo stick mechanic. And that is so holding those two. Here. Yeah, and you can see here, look, I'm going in, getting bone stuff. And uh, the aim of the game, along with finishing it like any other game, is to get as much money as possible. The more money you get, the better the ending. Is it? Yeah, genuinely. Like, I mean, to be fair, we're talking NES endings, so they're not like cinematic masterpieces. I did, I did not know that. I did not yeah, know that. Yeah, genuinely, you get a better ending if you get more money. So it's, I mean, it's not like, again, it's not a huge difference, but it's like something to play for. I'll have to YouTube that later on, see all the endings, because I, I never, I never um, picked up any of the cash or anything. Or yeah, diamonds. Because normally you think, oh, it's not worth it, but this isn't really the way to go, but I'm going to try it anyway. You're pretty good at this, Tom. How are that, you finding, That's always how you, tough. How are you finding the controller? You can probably see I'm kind of getting used to it now. I know, it's, it's pretty neat. It's very surprising how quickly that becomes. Yeah. Oh, this bit, I'm never quite sure. Oh, how to yeah, this, this bit's quite difficult. There's the Transylvania level as well, where you go, ah, go through the, the mirrors. That one. Yeah, the music was good. Yeah, and you have to like, it's almost like a puzzle, isn't it? Uh, sometime we should do the, uh, there's a DuckTales remake that's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, I've got that on Steam and it, it kind of, it's just this game, but cartoon level graphics. Yeah. And uh, it's quite a cool feel to it. You, you feel like you're playing the old DuckTales cartoon with that remake. Yep. Yeah. Um, admittedly, you know, you don't need it because the gameplay is what makes it good, but yeah, it's quite cool to just play this game with a new coat of paint. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that's DuckTales. I mean, I think, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty much are. as you see, but it's it's got a timeless quality to it, doesn't it? This but it's one. interesting to hear your take on it from someone that's only played it 10 years ago, because I, I yeah. grew up with this and, really, you know, I wouldn't be sure if I played this today, would it live up to the hype? You know, would it be as good? So you think it's a good one then? I think so. I mean, I don't think it's, um, I'm trying to, I think a future video ought to be uh, the best Disney games. Uh, it'd be interesting to kind of rate it against some of the others, but it's definitely up there, I'd say. Is and certainly for its time, we've got to think about when this was released and how iconic it was. 91, wasn't it? Yeah, I think... No, no, it was earlier than that, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it would have been. I mean, oh, you're I'm dead. dead. You're dead. So what I always do is I rage quit when I die in a game, so yes. I'm going to rage quit now. That's so, funny. Do you want to choose the next one? Uh, I'm going to try, I'm gonna try this Faxinadu. Yeah, I'm not even sure what this one is. Because I haven't played it again. I haven't played this because I bought this game in... I bought this game... Where did I buy it? It was somewhere like... I think they sold it in B&Q. Oh, no. I can't... Games no. in B&Q? It, it was somewhere around where B&Q is. No way. It was somewhere around there and I got it. Yeah. Because they had it on sale, and then like I, um, I took it home, and I was blown away by the graphics at the beginning of the guy walking towards the tree, and I haven't do. Facts I need do. Okay, so here we are. The guy walking up to the tree. Are the graphics? Will the graphics blow me away like they did probably 30 years ago? No. 1998. Whoa. 1988. That's. I didn't really notice the tree is behind the castle. That's pretty cool. No, it's terrible. <laughs> Why is that terrible? It looks awful. It's like a giant tree, isn't That's it? That's like so Japanese much beanstalk. I've been on a long journey. I came back to my hometown to find it almost deserted. Pretty much, just, pretty much the story of my life, really. <laughs> yeah. I've come back to Guildford now to I, find it nearly deserted because of coronavirus. I found everybody was in lockdown. Yeah. I don't What's know happened? Why. This is lockdown, the game. I found okay. out that somebody called Boris has told us all to go in our homes. Yeah. Christmas is cancelled. Oh, who's he? Is he going to get me? I've got a massive head. He's a good guy, isn't he? He's like no. some dude you can chat to. I want you to see the king right away, although you've just arrived. Is the king the, the prime minister? Yes, yeah, Boris. It's Boris. Let's go and see the king, Boris. What the hell's that? Go to work. Don't go to work. I don't remember this at all. Right, let's move the king through here. It's very um, weird. There is a mark of Jack by the keyhole. Oh, I can't get through there and I'm stuck with that guy. I feel like it's a bad translation as well. Like, you know, some of the early NES RPGs were badly translated. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't have a negative thoughts. 
don't have negative thoughts. Remember your ma your mantra. <laughs> There's hmm. James Bond Jr. This game. This game's a weird one. It's quite quiet. Yeah. It's good. The graphics are great on it though. They've got really good graphics. Yeah, that's quite cool. That first. But yeah, the graphics is is quite got a bland pa color palette. But it is quite graphically quite good. I, re I remember it being good anyway. The thing is with NES, like the colour palette was really limited, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. So it's very difficult to make art well against that. It looks really good actually. It is good, but it's very, very difficult. And you've got to solve a puzzle when you to, to, to deactivate a bomb, and this guy takes a trillion hits. Yeah, especially for like a first enemy you encounter. Yeah. It's also weird that he's about eight times the size of James Bond Jr. Yeah. Like, and is James Bond Jr. meant to be five or something? Is that why it's so small? I don't know, man. But this bit, so you've got to just jump on these things here, and it's so annoying. Oh, oh, oh. it's really, really annoying. And you, so you try and jump out. Water, right? Yeah, you try and jump out, and then you jump. And I remember this game being infuriating, but there's thousands of these springy pads up here that you have to, mm. got to bounce on, and you miss it, and you fall in the water and die. When you, when you do it, you're kind of like, okay, I'll carry on playing, I'll carry on playing, I'll, I can do it. And then, well, that was completely fluke. Oh, we got to the top. If I can just get to the top, <laughs> I can play epilepsy. Wow, I actually did it. That's a good game. But, but what's at the top here? Nothing. Nothing. Dead end. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, he killed me. Right, that's it. What about a monster in my pocket? Yeah, that's a good one. I think that's Konami. I it think. is Konami, yeah. Is it Konami? Which kind of drew me in immediately. I, I mean, admittedly, I did sort of go, right, that company made it. Yeah. Therefore, it would be good. Who do you think's better out of interest, Will? Konami or Capcom? Oh, I don't know. That's um, always a good challenge. I think I've, I've had more fun with Konami, to be fair. Really? Capcom. Yeah, that's, that's oh, controversial. But yeah. like... Um, I personally think um, Konami is better. I mean, when you think when you think about it, think about all the good Konami games out there. But then think of all the good Capcom ones: Street Fighter, Mega Man. But yeah, I think I'd choose Konami, man. I'm sorry. Konami. For, yeah, I'm sorry fair. for all my Capcom homies out there, but if you're playing as a vampire, yeah, and it's kind of like a cross between, I don't know, Streets of Rage and Micro Machines. I'm trying to think what it feels like. The horror to element to it. It feels like something else, but I can't think what it is. It feels a bit like Chippendale Rescue Rangers, oh, right, a okay. great Capcom game. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you can pick up the key. Oh, okay. Uh, somehow. Yeah, oh, you yeah. can pick up the key and you can launch it at people. Hadouken. There you go. You oh, Hadouken. Okay. What company makes a game that has Hadouken? Oh, Capcom. But then you've got Pro Protector. Yeah, Pro got, Contra. Uh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbours. But you've got, got, you got this. Final Fight. And Final Fight. There's a lot of good Konami Ghouls and games, Ghosts though. as Ghouls well. And Ghosts, yeah. They're all Capcom. So, I don't oh, know. Capcom, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. they're pretty even. Oh yeah, Ghouls and Ghosts was Capcom, wasn't it? Yeah. I like this game though, because you see, because I used to have all my monster in my pockets and stuff like that, and you'd see the monsters that you owned uh, in the game. Yeah, what was your um, monster in my pocket collection like? Did you have a lot of them? Oh, my brother had the mountain. With the the mountain. Oh, you know, I remember the mountain. The mountain yeah. was awesome. Yeah, yeah, the mountain. And like, um, I'd, I'd have all the cards, you know, I'd have all the cards, so yeah. I'd, like, I'd know how strong all the, all the characters are. I always know. wanted monster in my pocket, but for whatever reason, like I never got any. I got Boglins though. Boglins but are cool, yeah. Boglins seems to have died out. Like I haven't heard anyone talk about Boglins for, apart from you, me and you are the only people who talk about Boglins oh, yeah. in 2020. There's no Boglins video game that I know of either. No, there isn't. They just didn't take off. You're running down the stairs at the moment, if you've already noticed. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It's good I like it, yeah, it's good. Is this one that you finished ever? Uh, no, we didn't finish this game. We didn't finish it. But we got fairly far. I think we got up to the mummy or something. One of the okay. bosses. Seems like it's got a decent challenge to it as well. Yeah. Serious flicker going Oh there. yeah, the flicker. The notorious NES flicker. Too much stuff on the screen. I feel like I'm about to die. I've died. No oh, way. Man. That's good. I like that one. It's cool. Yeah, good game. I approve of your choice on this one occasion. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's try and land the plane in Top Gun. Yeah. Let's do, do the. Okay, we're gonna. I'll let you do the. Honest. Okay, we're gonna try and land the plane. I've heard about how you do it. Speed up. You speed up, and then up, up means speed up. No, no, down is up, and up is down, isn't it? That's right. Inverted controls. Yeah. You so have down to is up, up is down, and speed up. So what was what was uh, what was speed up? B is speed up. A is speed down, is that right? 
we know when we, oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to just try it. We're gonna have to, it's, this can be one of those risky things, but like, like it's exactly what uh, James Rolfe said in that video, where kind of like, every time it says land the plane, you're kind of like, oh no. And then you're like, actually no, I've got it this time, I got it. It's like, you have missiles, don't you? But the missiles don't really do anything. There's nothing, there's nothing really to hit that takes more than one hit. So what's the point? It's definitely the age when games would sell because a movie had come out. Yeah. I feel like those days are behind us now. You reckon? But yeah, in the 90s it was very like that though. You just had to attach a popular movie yeah. and parents would buy it. Whereas I feel like, uh, yeah, mankind has matured to the point where we look at reviews now or look at the internet first. Yeah. It might be. So yeah, I'm just shooting around missiles. It's very boring to look at, to be fair, this game. Kind of looks like um, a rubbish version of Afterburner. Did yeah. you play Afterburner? That was good. Afterburner game. was, yeah, that was good, man. That was a good one. I think if you stand from a bit further away, Tom, because it's, it's very dull to look at, but dull to me it as is. well. I'm look. like, hmm, wow, this is a good game. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get to the bit, where, maybe, maybe, maybe if we pause it and get to the bit right on the plane, because this just goes off, shit! Basically, all you need to do is that, and you dodge everything. Really? Yeah, just press up. Oh, man. And you dodge everything. But if you go down, you start to see stuff. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's go up. And eventually, you see them all down there flying past you, and you're kind of like, well, my altitude is 28,000 feet. No, they're all just disappearing. You can't get me. And eventually, you go back down, it goes... Man, if I'd, if I'd got this game as a kid, I honestly would have been so disappointed. You know how like when you're a kid you could have like one game for your birthday? The thing is I wasn't... Can you imagine getting Top Gun? You'd be like, oh no. Oh crap. There we are to the side and then back that way. Where are they there? Whoop. So you just dodge them. You just need to just press up. Press that. Oh man. Well, this down. is not this is not a good game. Have you played it? <laughs> I've not played it. No, You've I've, never I've it. seen it on videos and stuff, but... It's so boring. It really is. Like it's boring even to be in the same room as. It's like it's like the screen is casting out boredom into the room. The thing is, I loved it back in the day. I felt like I was flying a plane. <laughs> Danger! We're on a oh, what, our plane's on our tail. There he is. Got him. I've, uh, it's kind of coming back to me now of what I found interesting about this game. And I was like, yeah, get the planes, get the planes, yeah. I think it's nearly time to land a plane. <laughs> it's funny how landing a plane is even part of the game. Yeah. Okay. There's one coming. Boom. Missed it. Doesn't mean doesn't matter anything if you miss it. There's no threat. Really? Oh man, it's so bad, isn't it? Just waiting. Look, oh, don't even, doesn't, they don't do anything. It goes on forever. They don't do anything, so you know, I can just sit here. Oh, here we oh, go. Here we go. Okay, down is up, up is down. Speed up. Okay, you just need to look at the altitude. Okay. So far, it's going good. Here we go. <laughs> it's just so funny. We need, okay, speed down. So. Speed down, we get speed down, right, 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 okay. Left, left, speed up, speed up, yep, all good. Left, left, right, right, okay, speed up, up, up. Oh no, down, down, that is down, down, isn't it? Up, up, it's saying up, up, I'm pressing down, down, okay, down, down, up, 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 fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> I just thought I, I thought I had it then. It had no other commands. It just started saying up, up. So I went up, up, and then I went, and then okay, oh yeah, up, down, up is down. So I said down, and it's still saying up, up. So I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, what do you reckon? I reckon that game sucks. It's okay, so that is that. Um, we finished playing the Famicom Mini. Some good games there. Brought back a few memories and stuff like that. So. I think now what we're going to do is maybe in the future do some playthroughs, playthroughs of games or something like that. We're not really too sure, but either way, it's been fun doing stuff for you, Tom. Cheers, and man. Uh, you too. We'll see you once again for some more late night reviews. Cool. Good night. Take care.